Hi, this is Tom with Avidyne. In this short video, I'll give you a quick overview on the Avidyne IFD 440. There are six different models of IFD. We're going to focus on the IFD 440, which is an FMS GPS Navcom. It's got synthetic vision, Bluetooth Wi-Fi, forward-looking terrain alerting. Uh, since it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in, there's a Bluetooth keyboard that comes with it. And you can download for free the IFD 100 app for you. And here's just a head-up comparison with, if you have a 430 today, what you'd get with a 440. We've got our actual FMS-type user interface. So that means if you're in a flight school and you're training to move up to the air transport or corporate category aircraft that have real FMS units, you're going to be very familiar having trained on a 440. Of course, GPS, nav, and comm, and that's pretty much where it stops there. Uh, we've got hybrid touch. There's no touch screen on the for GNS series. We got synthetic vision built in. There's no synthetic vision in the GNS series. You're going to get color contoured terrain base map, which is, wasn't available on the GNS. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and uh, the FLTA features are all built in. There is an option for Bluetooth with a flight stream 210 on the 430, which if you have one a 210 today with your 430 and you're upgrading to a 440, you can uh, sell the 210 with it. Uh, we won't need it for the IFD 440. And then the Bluetooth keyboard comes with all the IFDs and the IFD 100 app. There's nothing like that on the 430. We also work with ForeFlight and a bunch of other third-party apps. Jeppesen approach charts and airport diagrams, we show those on the IFD 100 app. The 440 is a pen-for-pen -pen replacement for the GNS 430 and 430W. So if you have a W, we obviously you want to get to a WAS antenna and WAS coax. So that would change. But it uses the same connector, the same trays, and the same wiring. And again, there are some exceptions and caveats to the wiring. There are extra features in the IFD 440, including the ability to monitor the standby comm frequency and also... Uh, the terrain alerting audio feature, which wasn't in the GNS 430 series. So uh, it would just require extra wires up to, to the audio panel. And if you're using an existing Garmin ADSB transponder, the way it wires into the 430 is slightly different than the way it wires into a 440. So that wire would just need to move from one pin to another. Other than that, it's pin for pin. And, and literally, you could go in and in the morning, drop your plane off at 10 in the morning and, and fly away after lunch. Uh, the paperwork takes more time than the install. So it significantly reduces installation time for you. Check out all our other videos on YouTube and Avidine.com. For questions, contact your nearest Avidine dealer or reach out to us at pilotsupport at Thanks and have a great day. Fly safe.